And now we're going to uh, discuss the first of two theorems that uh, allow help us to uh, calculate the rook polynomial of a board by uh, relating it to rook polynomials of simpler boards. So this is called the blocking and stripping method. So uh, <clears throat> we take a uh, take a, a board like this, uh, and here we've written written down what the uh, um, rook polynomial is: one plus eight x plus nineteen x squared, fourteen x cubed, two x to the fourth. Uh, remember, you always always start with a 1, and then the coefficient of x is just the number of white squares, which, yeah, when you count them, there's 8. But then uh, the 19, 14, 2, those are harder to calculate. Um, <coughs> so how could we calculate this? Well, there's this uh, blocking and stripping theorem. So for that, what we have to do is we have to choose one of the squares here. Let's choose this one. We'll mark it with a circle, and then uh, we, can, uh, we can get uh, two new boards uh, from this. Uh, first one, well, which is what we get by blocking, uh, we just take the old board and then we just block off uh, the, marked, uh, the marked square. Okay. So this is a bit simpler because it's got one fewer white squares and it turns out that the uh, root polynomial uh, for this board is, is given here, 1 plus 7x, 15x squared, 10x cubed, x to the fourth. Okay, so we're not ex going to explain uh, exactly how we got this. You could do it by sort of further steps of blocking and stripping or other methods uh, you can uh, calculate the rook polynomial and you find it's like this. And the other thing that we do is stripping. So stripping means we take this board and we just cross out the row and the column that contained the marked square. Uh, and then we just uh, squash everything back together to make it a square. Now, so now, you know, here blocking, we started, blocking gave us a board of the same size as we started with, but stripping gives us a smaller board. <coughs> okay, and now this one, uh, this one is nice and simple. It's not actually hard to uh, work out the rook polynomial of this just sort of by inspection. Uh, and we find that the rook polynomial 1 plus 4x plus 4x squared plus x cubed. So how do we get back the rook polynomial of the original thing? What you do is you take the rook polynomial of the smaller board that you obtained by stripping, multiply it by x, and then you add on the rook polynomial of this board here. Okay. Uh, and uh, you know, so if we do that, uh, we take this rook, this polynomial here plus x times this one. You find that what you get is 1 plus 8x, 19x squared, 14x cubed, 2x to the fourth, which was the uh, rook polynomial of the original board. And uh, why does this work? Well, it's uh, explained in detail in the notes, but uh, roughly speaking, you know, um, here you know, you're looking here we, for the rook polynomial here. We have to count all possible rook placements and you can divide them into the ones that have a rook in this square and the ones that don't have the rook in this square. The ones that don't have a rook in this square, they basically correspond to the rook polynomial of this board. And the ones that do have a rook in this square, they correspond to the rook polynomial of this board. 